Hello. Today was a very sad day because today the country of Ireland and the people of Ireland mourned the death of a young, beautiful woman, teacher, and musician, camogie player, Aisling Murphy, who seemed to be the best that Ireland had to offer. Beautiful young girl murdered in the prime of her life. A real and absolute tragedy, not just for her self and her family and community of Tullamore, but the whole country, a real massive loss. In one way, it was great to see the whole country come together today in Tullamore and mourn her sad passing. Um, but as we saw immediately after her death, I was a bit saddened to see the immediate jumping of politicians on her death to make it suddenly Radical, loony left feminists made it all about men, all men. Uh, this isn't true. The vast majority of men and the vast majority of immigrants do not commit crime. It's not all men, it's not all immigrants commit who commit crime. It's funny, this whole thing about all men, like en masse, are guilty of somehow the, the killing of this beautiful young woman in Tullamore. That's completely untrue. All men are not responsible for... People are individually responsible for their actions. There should be no collective guilt on anybody, on men or women or immigrants or anything like that. There's no collective guilt this is very important. It's funny, the same crowd who are now saying all men are guilty were the very, very people who a year ago were saying that you can't say that all lives matter. You can only say black lives matter. But hypocritical in, as far as I can see. We are aware at the moment the murder was carried out by an East uh, a man in his 30s from uh, Eastern Europe. So he was a migrant here. We know that, do know that if that individual man had not been in Ireland, that the murder of Aisling Murphy would not have taken place. Now, EU membership means that, the f that people from Eastern Europe have a free movement and a right, untrammeled right to come in and live and reside in Ireland. And there's nothing that we can do about it. Most immigrants or most migrants from Eastern Europe do not commit crime. But because of the rule of free movement, Ireland is not capable or allowed to do a criminal background check on the people who enter and reside into Ireland. So we believe that the Irish Freedom Party believe that this is very dangerous. Now, we have enough uh, criminals in Ireland to be getting on with. It's the 60s, late 60s or mid 60s, there has been an increase in violence in Ireland in general. So we've got enough criminals of our own without importing more criminals from around the world. So when people come here, we like to know, well, do we need the people here? And secondly, the people coming here, like they're here to work, they're here to contribute to Irish society, they're not going to live off Irish society, and and lastly, that they don't have a criminal record. EU membership prohibits us from checking that for all people. The Irish Freedom Party view is that there should be, we must take back control of our borders to see who comes in to check and approve of people who come in to live and reside in Ireland, that they have no criminal record, that they're going to contribute to Irish society, not live off Irish society. We understand that the, this uh, young man who is a, sus a suspect, and only a suspect, he lives in a large house, four-bedroom house, fine big house. I'd like to know, is the Irish taxpayer? We'd just like to ask a question. Is the Irish taxpayer paying for that house? Have we paid for that house? To, that someone would come here and that he gets a, a free house off the Irish taxpayer would be 
unbelievable and certainly if it would be repaid uh, in his individual instance with the action of murder on a young beautiful woman another aspect uh, the the radical feminist aspect which is untouched so far is the they say that they're opposed to male violence on women that doesn't seem to be true because this gender Re recognition act which they were in very much in favor of in 2015 allows that biological males are allowed to be in prison now in limerick prison at the minute there's three biological males in among the, the the woman one is a convicted pedophile the other one is a man who has said he dreams of murdering woman why should a woman in prison be subjected to the presence of a larger violent male it's dangerous it's not good for a woman and on the issue of violence well is there any more violence act on innocent people than abortion Abortion is a terrible, violent act on, which is carried out on innocent, small babies. But if we are opposed to violence, we should be opposed to all violence, which is carried out on young and old, on males and females, on human people inside the womb and outside the womb. So... We are opposed to violence. We are opposed to all violence. Therefore, we are opposed to feminist sacrament, so to speak, of uh, abortion, where young children are killed in the womb. And those who advocated these radical feminists who talk about violence, they are the ones who have advocated it, who have advocated abortion. They are the ones with blood on their hands. And other contribution to violence is the absence of fathers in the home and the, the increasing rate of male delinquency which is very often linked to the absence of father of a father in the home we've got to talk about this now there was a senator i believe moynihan in uh, america in the 1970s did a report on uh, the the consequence consequences of the absence of fathers in the home and its increase in violence so why don't we talk about this the, the, the absence of father in the home, the increased propensity for delinquency among young men and the consequences for society with increased criminality and increased violence. So if the feminists want to use this tragic event to impose their ideology on society, do you know what? We should kick back and say, well, let's talk about the increase in violence. Let's talk about the impact of immigration on our society. Let's talk about the gender recognition bill where biological men are put in women's prisons and in women's sports and in women's spaces. If, we're, if we are opposed to violence, why don't we talk about the tragedy of abortion in our society? So all these things that this event is trying to be utilised, uh, instrumentalised by radical uh, loony left uh, ideologues and we have to throw back in their face the consequences of what they have been shouting about for decades now so my name is herman kelly i'm president of the irish freedom party i believe that all lives matter that most men don't commit uh, violence that uh, most immigrants don't commit violence but we should look at all the factors which have impacted in our society in the last number of decades and as I've spoken about to examine them examine all of them uh, fully. Goro Markinson.